Hello everyone. In previous video, we have seen how to create a logo using shapes in Adobe Photoshop. We took an example that is Stava logo. In today's class, we are going to see an animation in Photoshop. In Photoshop, we use timeline panel to create frame animations. Each frame represents a configuration of layers. We have two types of timelines, video and frame. Video timeline Video timeline allows for keyframe animation, which is an animation process in which you define key points of animation along a timeline. We can do more animation using position, scale, opacity, etc. Frame animation. The frame timeline is for frame by frame animation and can be very limiting. For example, we can create GIF animations. To create frame based animation in Photoshop, just watch this video. So let's start. In this video, let's create this logo animation. The top arrow goes on the top and the small arrow comes down. Okay, so now this is the Stava image which is going to be placed in the top. So let me unhide all and move this Stava image to the top and scale it a bit according to the size of the image and let me hide it. Now let me show the timeline option. It's in the bottom. Let me drag it and place it in the screen center. So this is the timeline option. If you can't find out this timeline, go to windows and timeline. Just click the timeline. You will get this timeline. So in timeline, we have two options. One is video timeline and frame animation. Today we are going to see what is frame animation. In frame animation, we can do GIF images. So just click frame animation. You can see the, you can see there the first frame has been created. For per second, we need 24 frames. So 24 frames per second. So we are going to create animation now. So if you press Ctrl plus R, we will get a rulers. You can see on the top. So using that rulers, we are going to move the shapes. So let me drag and place it in the center, one ruler and another one according to how you are going to move the shape. This is how I am going to move the top shape, the top arrow. I am placing the rulers according how I am going to move the top shape. So now let me place it in the bottom. If you press Ctrl plus R, you will get this ruler. We are going to create 24 frames per second. So the placing of rulers is done. Let's rename it the layers as arrow 2 and arrow 1. If you double click the layer, you can do that. Now what I am going to do is I am going to lock the rectangle layer. Okay, let's start moving the shapes. So select the first frame. Before that, so that is the second frame option which we are going to create. Before that, select the first frame. Okay. Now we have opened the unhide the Stava image. Now reduce the opacity in the first frame. Okay, in the first frame, the Stava image should be reduced, opacity should be reduced. Now let's create the second frame. Select the arrow 2 and move it. Just check how I am how I am moving. Done. Arrow 2 is done. Now move the arrow 1. Use the uh, arrow keys in the keyboard to move the shapes. You can see the first frame. It's like this. In the second frame, it has been moved. So now let's create the third frame. Now let me move the arrow 1 to the top and select the arrow 2 and move it to the bottom. Use arrow keys in the keyboard to move the shapes.
now done you can see the demo here first frame it's like this second frame it's moving third frame it's like this now let's create the fourth frame just click over there it's done now as I did before just move the shape using arrow keys move the shape it's done fourth frame is done now let's create the fifth frame we are not going to create all the 24 frames there is an option there is a beautiful option let me teach you now now moving the shape is done we have created five frames here so one two three four and five done in the fifth frame, we have to reveal the Stava logo name. So, in the first frame, we have reduced the opacity. Now, select the Stava image and select the fifth frame. You can see there. I am selecting the fifth frame and selecting the Stava image and increase the opacity of the Stava image. Now, you can see in the first frame, it's zero and when coming to fifth frame, it's getting revealed. So, now, what we are going to do is we are going to increase this 5 frames into 20 frames for that select the first frame we are going to see an option called motion twin you can see there twinning animation frames so select the first frame and click that option a dialog box opens as twin so in that we have next frame and last frame so I have selected the first frame so select the option called next frame so frames to be added is 4 I need 4 frames so 5 4s are 20 right so I need 20 frames so I have added 4 frames for each frames so 4 frames has been added and I need all the animations like position opacity and effects so if I give ok you can see there 2 3 4 5 done now select the 6th frame and select the uh, again select the option and just give ok you can see there the frames has been increased now after four frames select the fifth frame done now select the motion twin and just give ok four frames has been created now select this frame go to motion twin just give ok you can see there four frames has been created now select the last frame just give motion twin just give OK, it's done. Now you can see the animation. The animation is done in Photoshop. I hope the video was useful. Thank you.